was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I will go unto the altar of God. To God who gives joy to my soul. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. My dear brothers and sisters, on this Sunday, in the octave of Corpus Christi, let us confess our sins to God and prepare ourselves that we might worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. And now please make an examination of conscience. And now, let us offer the Confidior. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, who knows the innermost secrets of my heart, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault. In your presence, O God, I earnestly repent of all my sins, and I am truly sorry that I have offended you. Most loving Father, have mercy on me and forgive my sins. I resolve to amend my life, to improve and sanctify it, that I may become worthy to serve you faithfully all the days of my life. I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and the remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, you will again renew us. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. May you grant us your salvation. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so that we may enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, you nourish your people with food of angels and furnish them bread from heaven, ready to hand, untoiled for, endowed with all delights, and conforming to every taste. For this substance of yours revealed your sweetness toward your children, and serving the desire of him who received it was blended to whatever flavor each one visited and wished. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, and will put down in the Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, 
with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in this wondrous sacrament, you left us as a memorial of the passion and death of your Son, Jesus. May we, whoso reverence his body and blood, perceive within ourselves the effects of his redemption. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, and art one God forever and ever. On this, the Sunday in the octave of Corpus Christi, the first reading is taken from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Remember how for forty years now the Lord your God has directed all your sojourning in the desert, so as to test you by affliction and find out whether or not it was your intention to keep his commandments. He therefore let you be afflicted with hunger, and then fed you with manna, a food unknown to you and your fathers, in order to show you that not by bread alone does one live, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Do not forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery, who guided you through the vast and terrible desert, which its seraph, serpents, and scorpions, its parched and waterless ground, who brought forth water for you from the flinty rock, and fed you in the desert with manna, a food unknown to your fathers. The word of the Lord. The gradual for today. Lord, they all look to you to give them food in due time. When you gave it to them, they gathered it. When you opened your hand, they were filled with good things. The second reading for today is taken from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the cup of blessing which we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because the loaf of bread is one. We, though many, are one body, for we all partake of the one loaf. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The sequence for today. Lo, the angel's food is given to the pilgrim who has striven. See the children spread from heaven, which on dogs may not be spent. Truth the ancient types fulfilling, eyes it bound, a victim willing. Paschal lamb, its lifeblood spilling, manna to the father's scent. Very bread. Good shepherd, tend us. Yes, of your love, befriend us. You refresh us. You defend us. Your eternal goodness, send us in the land of life to see. You, who all things can and know, who on earth such food bestow, grant us with your states, the lowest, where the heavenly east you show fellow heirs and guests to be. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I am the living bread which has come down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh, 
Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, Lord. Jesus said to the Jewish crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is food indeed, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still die, whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. to all of you thoughts and prayers and blessings from God to you and to your loved ones while they were eating Jesus took a loaf of bread and after he blessed it he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said take eat this is my body then he took a cup and after giving thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. From the Gospel of Matthew. For whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him. From the Gospel of John. Because the loaf of bread is one, we, though many, are one body, for we all partake of the one loaf. From the letter, the first letter of St. Paul the Apostle to the Corinthians, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Jesus declares in today's gospel, I am the living bread which has come down from heaven. In this most important sixth chapter that we take today's reading from the gospel of St. John, Jesus brings together the two covenants of God and he associates himself with the daily manna, that God sent down from heaven to the children of Israel to provide sustenance for those who had wandered in the wilderness for 40 years after coming out of slavery from Egypt. 
Jesus also was to declare his divinity and humanity and who came from the Father. Jesus says, Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. I am the living bread. Bread, the staff of life, which has existed since mankind stepped into the Neolithic era approximately 12,000 years ago and began agriculturally to grow grain and to make bread for their sustenance as well as for their survival. Do you know that humans get on an average 48% of their total calories or what we call their food energy from grains whether it be wheat, barley, rice, corn, or oats. All these grains which are milled, polished, and made into flour, and then into bread, are all referred to as the staples of life. Today on this Sunday in the octave of Corpus Christi, we celebrate that eternal gift that Jesus shared first with those at his Last Supper when he instituted the Holy Eucharist, which for us is a sacrament. He shares with all of us today who would gather at his table in remembrance of his offering up of his body and blood for the remission of sins and for the gift of eternal life. St. Paul reminds us in his first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 10, verse 17, that there is but one loaf, one bread, who is Jesus Christ. And though we are many, we are one body for we all partake of that one loaf. Jesus reminds us that it is in this co-union with him, or what we call Holy Communion, that we, the Church, who comprises his body, must turn to God every day in prayer for our daily bread. As he turned unto his Father, and taught others to turn unto the Father for their daily sustenance, for their strength, not only physically, but most importantly, spiritually. In the Gospel of John, chapter 6, verse 27, we read, And Jesus answered them and said, Do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him the Father, God, has set his seal. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, on this special day in which we remember those eternal gifts, today's message for each of us is to look to God, to trust in God, to be faithful unto God, to be dependent unto God, and to be thankful for all the blessings and for the providence that he gives unto us. May we all be confident in the wisdom of God and in the words of Jesus his Son, that whenever we seek his presence in our lives, that he, as the living bread, remains with us as we with him. May the life-giving grace of God's righteousness be ever in our lives, and may we seek always to be fed 
with that spiritual food, the daily bread of our souls, which brings to us eternal life. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, it is also on this day that we celebrate Flag Day. The American flag, the symbol of our democracy, the symbol of our freedom, of all that all have sought to find freedom in God and through the basic rights given unto us in our great nation. May we proudly display the flag of our country and pray that God would lead the leaders of our country to always seek democracy, freedom, and justice for all of us. May God bless us in our great nation. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come, amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Lord, you nourished your people with food of angels and furnished them bread from heaven.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our church good and for the benefit of his holy church. Amen. Let us pray. O oh Lord, who in this wonderful, wonderful sacrament has left us a memorial of the passion of your Lord, of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, do look upon us this day and bless us with your presence. We ask all of this in the name of your Son, Jesus, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit and art of God. Forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your poor hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. At the Last Supper, as he sat at table with his apostles, he offered himself to you as the spotless lamb, the acceptable gift that gives you perfect praise. Christ has given us this memorial of his passion to bring us its saving power until the end of time. When we receive the bread of heaven, we are nourished and strengthened by our Lord to live in holiness and righteousness. We come then on this, the octave of Corpus Christi, to your table, to be fed this wonderful sacrament and grow into the likeness of the risen Christ. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, with all the saints in the entire church, we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true Orthodox and Catholic faith which comes to us from the apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord. On this day, we pray for the sick, the suffering, and the dying, for the homeless and for the hungry, for the unemployed, for all those who are suffering from the coronavirus, as well as for all abused and neglected children in our world, for those who serve in our armed forces, and for all the first responders, as well as all who are present here, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for whom we offer or who offer up to you, the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for their hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God. We join in communion with and honor above all others, the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ, also your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, and together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love. Through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering and that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation, and counted among the flock of your chosen people through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, to confirm this offering, and to make it pleasing to yourself so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body 
and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples, and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful, and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries in which spiritually and bodily, in his entire being, he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment, so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven, to you, his almighty Father, giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner, after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks to you, he blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, and his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy, and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which our high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice and immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty, that we who receive from this altar the blessing of the sacred body and blood of your Son may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant, we pray, a place of refreshment, light, and peace same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, and with all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy, and with lives patterned after their divine master, merited eternal joy, numbers in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Christ our Lord. Amen by whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him. All honor and glory are yours, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. 
admonished by salutary precepts and following divine institution, we make bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, from all evils, past, present, and future, and by the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mother of God, Mary, together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, as also Andrew and all the saints, grant us peace in our day, that being supported by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and secure from all disturbance. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. May this commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us to receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you, who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be caused for my judgment or condemnation, though I am unworthy to receive this great sacrament, through your loving kindness may become my safeguard and healing remedy. My saving master, awaken in me a living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make me your willing servant, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite me entirely with you, my Lord and my God. Grant us who lives and reigns with God the Father in unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. I will take the bread of heaven and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting, amen. What shall I return unto the Lord for all the graces he hath rendered unto me? I will take the chalice of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, we seek your blessing to rest upon us as we gather on this Sunday in the octave of Corpus Christi. May we truly realize the meaning of the one loaf which binds all of us into the one body of Christ through the same Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit and art one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Go, the sacrifice is offered. Thanks be to God. May the tribute of my worship be pleasing to you, most holy trinity, and grant that the sacrifice which I, the one worthy, have offered up into the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you. Through your mercy may it be effective for myself and for all those for whom I have offered. Through Christ our Lord, amen. May the almighty and merciful God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, Lord. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was in God's presence. And the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through Him all things came into being. And apart from Him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in Him found life. Life with the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness, a darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John, sent by God, who came as a witness to testify to the light, so that through him all might believe, but only to testify to the light, for he himself was not the light. The real light, which gives light to every man, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through him the world was made. Yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. Any who did accept him, he empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who were begotten not by blood, nor by carnal desire, nor by man's willing, but by, by God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Thanks be to God. Again, my dear brothers and sisters, I thank you for sharing with us this day the blessings of Almighty God and my thoughts and prayers to be with all of you and to be with your loved ones until we have a chance again to meet in the worship house of God. And now let us conclude this morning's service with the offering up of a prayer, not only for our loved ones, and for ourselves, but for all those who are currently having difficulties in life, that the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ might touch the hearts and the minds, and that we might all grow in the wisdom of Almighty God. Thank you again, and may God be with you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was.
was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And for the repose of the souls of all our faithful departed, eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. May perpetual light shine upon them. May they all rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.